Hey guys, it's Marine and Rattlesnake J. We are back. We are out here in the quarry at Ruffner Mountain right now. Now we are doing our newest outdoor adventure and we want you to go along with us. So let's get this journey started. Oh, the loopy lizards are down that way. End up that way. Crap, we can't miss them. <laughs> Loopy lizards. There's one of the rock crushers. This is mine number two, right? I believe so. Yes. And if I remember correctly, uh, Jeremy here, he could tell you better about it, but it was what, 1973, I think? There was a major explosion out there at mine too from a shed? No, I believe I read it was 71. 71? Yeah. Yeah, there was a major explosion of a bunch of, uh, bunch of, well, explosives they had in the shed for doing mine work and everything that's been sitting there dormant for a while. And what anyway. Thermite? Yeah, thermite, I believe he's right. Anyway, it ignited one day and it took out half the mountain. Yeah. It knocked windows out of buildings as far away as Roebuck Plaza, which is what, four or five miles down the road? Yeah, they evacuated everyone in the vicinity. Yeah. Right, dirt right after it happened, in case any more happened to go off. Man, look at this thing. All right, we're going to have to tell you a little history on this, so here we go. Hey guys, as I said, this is one of the rock crushers out here at Ruffner Mountain. Now these things were actually in operation from about 1883 all the way up to 1953. And they mainly supplies the uh, Sloss Sheffield uh, Iron Company with red iron ore, which was Sloss Furnace. But by the way, that is for another video. But look at the size of this thing. This thing is massive. Well, you can see here, this this thing here. This company is actually out of Wisconsin, which is really cool. You can see it right there. But as Jeremy just pointed out, there's part of the walkway that used to actually go around this thing. Yeah, I don't think I want to walk on it now. Yeah. All right. Now, if you can see right up there where the trail splits off, if you go up to the right, that takes you to the mine. So. Let's go check it out. Good. All right. Now there is one more major tip I want to make sure I tell every single one of you. When you come out here to Ruffner Mountain, and I do highly suggest coming here, this nature preserve is amazing. But make sure you wear shoes and clothes and socks that you don't mind getting dirty or being ruined. Because you see how the ground here is that nice, bright, kind of burgundy red color? That is all of the iron ore in the soil. And trust me, it'll get in your clothes, it'll get on your shoes, and it does not come off. Now, on with the journey. And you come to the top. Oh, look, big red wall. Oh, look, mine. <laughs> yeah, you see that. That is pretty cool. Now, you really can't see too far down in here, and they do ask you not to make a whole lot of noise because there are bats that live down in here. Back when we was kids, this wasn't blocked off. You could actually explore these mines. Yeah. Too bad they don't allow us to do that anymore, huh? Yeah. Safety takes freedom once again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I drank out of a garden hose and rode, rode in the back of a pickup truck too, and I only got a little bit of brain damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
have a lovely yucca. <laughs> the yucca. Yucca! How could something so pretty have such an awful name? Poke the hell out of you. <laughs> Watch that first step, it's a little bit of a doozy. Rest in brick leaves, boy. <laughs> yeah. No telling how old this brick is. That is really neat though. Mm -hmm. Everybody, as you can tell, we have now made it down to the opening of the wetlands and uh, what the heck is this ridge called? Sandstone Ridge. Now, unfortunately, the little walk path that they had going around the pond here, as you can tell, it is closed. They had to tear it up. It was rotting, not so bad, not so good. But you can see the pond over there. There's a lot of frogs in there. And some beautiful flowers that grow around here in the spring and summertime. Now, this is a conservation area. Please do not disturb the toads. Or the lizards. There we go. Here's a good view of the pond. Busy, but ooh, we do got some busy beavers. Look at that. Well, I don't know. That's kind of clean. Not nice. Yeah. Well. In the spring and summer, there are some absolutely beautiful flowers that grow around here. Oh, and this pond is full of more frogs than I've ever seen in my life. And let's keep it that way. Look, there's a turtle. Yeah, see and just on the other side of the pond, you had the entrance to Sandstone Ridge, which it is a pretty nice little walk path. It's not very long. There are some steep parts in it, but just about anybody can go on it. <laughs> to the Nature Center up the hill ah here we go buckeye trail and the reason we're doing that is because you see this in case you don't know what that means that means keep your butt out let's go up this way <laughs> ah we made it to the junction uh, the quarry's down that way, but no, we're going to hit up the Crusher. It says Ridge and Valley here, but trust me, Crusher's down there. But check this out. Ooh. All right, let's go. Stuff from the Crusher. Yeah, this was all this was all the loaders because if you can see right there There's the top of the uh, other crusher Yeah Now to tell you the truth this particular one here is it's my favorite out of the two that you that you can get to anyway But it is nowhere near as built up and as nice as what the other interest in a mine is but this one's just neat because look at the slated rock on top of the hill right there. And that's crazy. And like you can see, it's a bat conservation area. So please do not disturb them. But there is the other mine. Yep, they drug the stuff out of here, brought it right over there to the, to the loader that we showed you and put it down to the crusher down the hill. All right, let's go and see the crusher here. All right. Watch your step. Check this thing out. That thing is just cool. 
This one kind of looks a little more modern. Yeah. I mean, take out the size of the nuts and bolts on this thing. Check underneath there. Guys, this rock crusher would have been in a in the uh, operation the same time as the other one between what was it, 1883 and 1953? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, it's just it is amazing to actually come out here and see it and see how massive it actually is in person, and just imagine what it would have been like working out here, you know, a century ago, and what this place would have actually looked like back then. This wouldn't work. Was really work. Yeah. When people actually knew what a hard day's worth was. <laughs> I don't know, man. This creek is kind of, it's a battling river here. I don't know if we can cross it. <laughs> Thank God somebody put it in a bridge. As you're walking on the trail out. Boom. <laughs> More ruins from the mining days. Some pretty cool stuff, though. Oh. He found him a hole. See anything cool? It goes down, but I can't tell how far. Can't tell how far? Mm -hmm. Now, normally, if you guys watched our channel before everything got deleted, you would know that we really don't care about going in holes. We normally like to do it. But the people out here at Ruffner Mountain, they do ask people to stay out of openings because it is very dangerous. So we want to respect them on it. All right, cool. Yep, it's a heck of a trick from down there in that valley. To get back to the fork in the road. Yeah. Guys, as you remember, this is where we started. It's where we came from. Now this here is Ridge and Valley Trail. Now, it is a great trail to go down. Do not get me wrong. But there are multiple, multiple hundred foot elevation changes. As you can see, just by looking at the valley going through there, you're going up and over all of those hills. It is a heck of a trek. And we don't have that much time left today, so we'll let you see it on the illustration and we're gonna head to the quarry.